Your second best player. I, th I thought Thrasher like moved, didn't he? Nope. He's oh. still there and he just doesn't play very much. He's uh, big into Rocket League now. Oh, gotcha. He and Kurt both, actually. But I think Kurt's starting to play more often. We're going into it. Oh, no. Peter. Yeah. Rip, nosebleed. Let's see if, uh, I don't think Igis is going to wobble that much right now. Uh, that's my prediction. It's baseless, but he didn't wobble that much against me. And I think he's got something to prove, so I really don't think he's going to. I also don't think he needs to against most, uh, spaces. No, time out for a second. Tom Bon. Do you want to talk or are you good watching? Would you be interested in com commentating? Kyle's not, so. Stuff. Yeah, I mean, his Falco, the thing is, I think his tech is pretty solid, actually. And, like, I guess Dice Climbers, that's pretty bad. Yeah, you can be campy. Well, Ben Peter's a patient player as well, and that's going to translate to whatever character he plays. So, hopefully, he can make something happen. I kind of thought he was going to go with the Link, uh, see, just because of, like, matchup. Yeah. I actually predicted earlier that what, uh, Igis probably wasn't going to wobble, but I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> He knows his percentage, that's for sure. It's like getting too late in the bracket to like, be like, oh, I have something to prove. At this point, you just want to win. <laughs> Everyone you're going to be playing is going to be out, like, for blood, so. But even, however, this goes for blood. Yeah, yeah. It's already looking better than I thought it would be. So. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, wow. Wow. Nana with, like, that's, that's the 50 crazy. foot angle, reach. Kicking, honestly? Oh, that is... Yeah. Damn, chocolate titans. That's, uh, that's pretty harsh. Savage. Pretty, pretty harsh. Savage. Harsh but true. Probably. Is he gonna stay? I guess he's staying. Uh, he might switch. And I have no idea who you can switch to. Why is my controller? I would honestly think Link. I think Igis knows this matchup really well. I don't think he knows Link very well. I think Link is probably the right choice. Ooh, we'll see. But who knows? Nope, sticking with it. I respect that. He, it did not look that bad. Uh, this is long. also not winner's finals. I think this is loser's... Uh, All right, well, that, this is looking pretty bad. Something. But it wasn't looking bad. Oh, at Randall. Is he going to go for Randall? I would have gone for Randall there, probably. That was really unfortunate. Yeah, that was pretty tragic. A lot of people think Falco isn't good in this matchup, but I think he's actually pretty good. I think he, uh, the he has a lot of moves exactly that can separate really well. The separation is like different, and by some metrics, not as good because it's like vertical. They'll go vertical and then a little bit apart. Yeah. But once Ices are in the air like that, they're really vulnerable. Well, so a down air or a shine is a good setup. Yeah, and if you get them separated, you can pretty safely just F smash Nana and like get her out of the way. Yeah, he has just he has really good hitboxes. Yeah, he's it's got those big legs. I'll just F smash them. Uh, <laughs> they just tiptoe at each other. I think John's actually pretty good on this stage. I think so too. I would not have picked him. Actually, I went Pokemon against him just because then like you would get some walls. Yeah. It seems fine. Good text by Nosebleed. Yeah, his ops attacks are really good. Yeah. Yeah, nice he, Nosebleed started to use the platforms a little bit more, and Aegis is just throwing out up airs trying to counter it. Wow, insane non a DI. He must have changed this to the level 9. Oh, 
think Pete is he's too indecisive right now about who he's going for. <clears throat> He'll like kind of swing in between them. And yeah. It's kind of uh, a skill to, well, not really a skill, but it's useful to remember, you know, how much you've hit of each one, because obviously yeah. you have the Sopo It's percentage. totally a skill. A lot of pros yeah. recommend, like, practicing just killing mana for yeah. five minutes. And uh, I'm sure most people know this, but, like, Nana also has her own percentage. And so if you get, like, 80% on her and only 20% on, you know, Sopo, it's worth trying to just kill yeah. Nana. I, I think, like, there's never a super clear choice of yeah. which one to kill. First. I feel like that's a, like, a age-old melee <laughs> philosophy question, like, Which do you pull the lever and kill the <laughs> Nana, or do you kill the Sopo? <laughs> I think, like, situ situationally, though, yeah, it's Totally. And, and, like, there's stayed different stage positions where it's, like, obvious, but... Yeah. And that Edgeguard Falco has on the ice is actually, like, really easy and brainless. Yeah. Peter hasn't got him into that many. Oh, okay. Oh, As I'm saying hey, that, yeah. Another, like, good panic side B by Aegis, actually, to get out I don't of think there. that's panic. I think that's just, like, the only option that you can do. Yeah. Okay, like, instinct, I guess. Yeah, right. Um, so it was super quick. Out. Yeah, it was immediately out the laser. Decent showing for Peter. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I thought it was about to end, but Aegis had to swag. A bit. I could try to swag, but just... Oh my gosh, the DK edge guard! <laughs> and you wonder why it's not more widely used by ICS players. Yeah, okay, right? Go play. Alright, good luck.